So you finally decided to go look for some new underwear to wear, but at this time you are confused about what to get because you don't know the difference between modal, cotton, and microfiber. Don't worry, today I am going to help you to make a better decision if you should get cotton, modal, or microfiber underwear because these are the most common types of fabric you will see when buying underwear. For the purpose of this video, I will be mainly talking about boxer briefs only because that's what I normally wear and pretty much I am going to talk about which fabric is best to wear in different settings. So without further delay, let's dive in and learn the differences of each fabric. All right, so we got three different fabrics of boxer briefs here. We got the modal, cotton and microfiber. First, let's talk about the most common one, which is a cotton. Cotton is known for its breathability due to its loose natural fiber structure. It is commonly soft, pretty durable, but it is prone to peeling, but easy to care for and gentle to most skin types. However, cotton does absorb moisture instead of wicking it away, so it's not a perfect material to wear when you're planning to sweat, aka going to gym or planning to run. In addition, it doesn't hold up its shapes over time. Moving on to our next candidate, which is the microfiber. It's a synthetic fiber that could range from polyester, nylon, or rayon, which is not as breathable as cotton. However, it does wick moisture away so your groin area can stay dry or dry quickly during activity. Silkier than cotton, but not as soft. It resists peeling and it does a great job holding the shape of your body. It does feel good on skin, but some people may be sensitive or get some allergic reaction because it's a synthetic fiber. In addition, I find that microfiber retains odor so it gets stinky much easier than cotton. So I suggest you change right away after a heavy workout or sweaty day. Price wise, depending on how it's made, usually microfiber is cheaper than cotton. Overall, I find microfiber is useful when you plan to work out or plan to do some long activities. As for our last candidate, which is modal fabric, another synthetic fiber but comes from natural sources such as woods and plants, specifically it is commonly made from beech tree pulp. It is the softest fabric in comparison to the other two that I mentioned. It's very smooth, lightweight, feels like you're not wearing anything down there, and very stretchy. It is less likely to fade or peel, and when it comes to durability, moisture wicking, and breathability, it's in between cotton and microfiber. Actually, people may find it more durable than microfiber and definitely better than cotton when it comes to moisture wicking. This is pretty much the luxury version of underwear because it typically costs more to make in comparison to cotton and microfiber. In conclusion, this is my personal favorite because it's silky smooth and it just simply feels good to wear all the time. So, we just finished talking about the pros and cons of each fabric. Now. Let me share you um, share you do with my thoughts or my recommendation on what is the best time to wear each. When it comes to working out or just simply doing some activities and you sweat a lot, definitely wear microfiber underwear. If you're going for a date, going to some special event, or want to have an underwear that is super soft and it feels like nothing down there, then wear modal. Now, if you're just sitting down, being at home, going to bed or just doing your typical errands, then cotton made underwear is the best for you. It's pretty much your daily underwear to wear. With that being said, I still recommend all those three fabrics in your closet just in case you want to switch sometimes or want to follow my recommendation. However, if I had to pick one fabric, I highly suggest you guys buy a modal because it triumphs the rest of them. It's super soft, drapey, feels premium when wearing it. And is the best of the best, in my own opinion. Well, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully this video serves some purpose in your life. And if it does, please do share, press the thumbs up, and click that subscribe button if you haven't. That's it for me, guys. Stay safe and stay amazing. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.